you're on the air. This is Steve Papermaster. Steve, how are you doing, sir? Doug, good morning. How are you? Well, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for calling. Uh, Steve is is part of the real estate business that uh, is kind of in the background, but it's probably the most important part. Steve, tell us what you do. Uh, sure, thanks, Doug. Uh, our company is First Title and Escrow. We have a nationwide title and closing services company. Work nationwide uh, with banks, uh, auction companies, asset management companies to do a number of things. Uh, the end result of what we do is make sure the buyer uh, ends up with clean title, that all the judgments, liens, uh, any uh, issues that could come uh, associated with some municipalities are taken care of so a buyer can get clean title on property and why? get an owner's title insurance. Policy. Why Why is that important to a buyer? Uh, well, you know, in, in these days, uh, when you're buying a property from anybody, whether you're buying it from your friend next door or someone you don't know, uh, there's a- any issue that that former buyer or former owners um, had will go with the property. It could be their mortgage. It could have been unpaid. Mm-hmm. It could have been a lien that was against them that was unpaid, and that will follow with the property. So uh, unless those items are resolved... Uh, during your purchase transaction, during the time that we are doing our work, then you're going to have a property uh, that's not what you think it is. Mm-hmm. And, and what kind of liens are, are possibilities? And again, you're talking you're talking to real estate people who know uh, a lot of this stuff, and some of them don't. You're also talking to uh, sellers of property and auction firms, uh, but you're also talking to the public. Tell us what kind of liens might be on there. That would affect the title? Uh, probably one of the most common, uh, especially down in the Florida area, is going to be condominium liens. Uh-huh. Uh, where you have you know, former uh, owners of properties couldn't pay their payments uh, on their condominium association. So uh, the association itself went and could have filed a lawsuit against the homeowner. Uh-huh. Uh, and that, yeah. Go ahead. So, Doug, and that, that lien will then become uh, uh, on the property. Okay. And so how do you get rid of that, or, or how do you help make that be a clean title issue for the new buyer? Well, a couple things. Uh, what would happen is we would need to make sure, uh, we, in, a, in a lot of cases, if it's a, uh, if it's a, a foreclosure, for mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. Uh, if it's a foreclosure example, there are certain liens that will get wiped out from a foreclosure sale, and there are certain liens that aren't going to get wiped out from a foreclosure sale. It depends on the state. So in that case, either way, either the lien gets eliminated by operation of law uh, or the seller of the property will have to make sure that they pay that lien off prior to title being transferred. So we want to make sure uh, that we do a proper search uh, and all the due diligence that our company is required to do, make sure that's done so that new buyer doesn't have issues like that coming up on their property. Got it. Got it. And and tell us about your... Uh, company, how long has it been in business? I know you've got Pam Gibbons there, who is one of the the, the hard workers in the business and represents you very well. How many people do you have, and, and how many files do you go through during a month? Well, uh, to give you a little bit of background, first title started in 1997, so we're uh, going on to our 15th year. Uh, we, and in about four years ago, we started another company just focused on uh, REO and servicing asset management companies, uh, working with both Fannie Mae directly and Freddie Mac. Mm-hmm. Um, and through our work with them, we started another company called Streamline Title and Escrow. Uh, and through both those companies, uh, we have about 60 employees uh, managing thousands of files a month uh, throughout the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, mm-hmm. uh, as well as multi-state, doing business all around the country, okay. working with asset managers as well as the mentioned Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Well, it's uh, you and I have talked about this before, but uh, you know, in the in the past downturn, uh, for instance, let's say a bank failed. Well, all those properties that the bank had uh, that were foreclosed properties and REO in their system. 
you know, they'd probably be within a hundred mile area of uh, of the uh, uh, of the bank itself. And today, um, you know, you could have a bank that's in Massachusetts, but they have properties uh, in their in their till that uh, are in 40 different states uh, for a variety of reasons. And so you do have to reach out. And, and if that's your client, you're working with other title companies and other professionals. And is that kind of the way it goes? That's, yeah, that's what the value that we bring to uh, a company in that situation. It could be a, a bank, just, just like you spoke about, Doug, where they would come to a company like ours uh, first off, and tell us a couple things. Listen, we, we don't know what we have here. We have a lot of assets with potentially a lot of problems. Mm-hmm. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to search all those properties. We will use our abstract uh, and title vendors in all those various places around the country to work with us. We centralize all the information uh, with our technology that we've built uh, to deliver back fast and accurate information to those companies because they are – moving quickly to try to figure out how they're going to dispose of this property because after we go and do our work on it to get the title search completed, they want to go out and get that property listed and get it sold. Uh, so we assist also not only in that title search service, but we assist in coordinating uh, the sale mm-hmm. of that property all the way through, whether it's us assisting uh, in an auction capacity where we're coordinating the multiple contracts that are going to be required to be signed uh, at that auction, mm-hmm. uh, or helping answer any kind of questions buyers have with respect to those properties. So we have built a network of uh, attorneys uh, and searchers uh, to help us on a multi-state basis, but give that owner of that asset uh, a single point of contact so they don't have to worry about who they're going to speak to in these 40, 45 different states that they may have assets. Well, Steve, you've always been on the cutting edge of this business, and I know you work with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and, and, and banks and brokers and asset managers throughout the country. Um, you're from Rockville. That's in the Baltimore area. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're in the middle between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Okay. Very, very good. Well, tell us how people can reach you because I will tell you from experience – uh, especially lar- uh, selling large amounts of property, um, you know, we we did we've we've done five hundred properties at a time, more than a thousand properties at a time. If you yes, don't yeah. have a good title company, uh, guess what? All your hard work is is for naught. And so you guys are are the people who do this and and do it well. How do people get a hold of you? Thank you. Uh, they can reach out to us uh, on the web at uh, www.firsttitleservices.com. It's all spelled out. Uh, or they can get us uh, toll free 866 484 8537. And that's from me, Steve Papermaster. Well, very good. Steve, thank you so much. And again, I, I appreciate uh, our friendship through the years. And, and, you, and again, guys. you're a leader in this. Uh, this part of the business, which is the title business, the closing business, and in every auctioneer and every real estate broker, and and buyers and sellers, they they know that if it uh, the paperwork isn't done, um, there is no sale. And so, thank you so much, Steve, and you have a great weekend. Say, give my best to Pam for me. Will do, Doug. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You Thanks bet. for having me. Bye bye now.